Hey guys, do you know how to use a compression tester? What was that? You don't? Well, this video ought to teach you how to use one. Hey guys, what's up? This is Kyle with Obsessed Auto. And James. Yeah, he's here. We're here today to show you how to use a compression tester kit. The one that we have is Deluxe Compression Test Kit CT155 from Mac Tools. You know, because who doesn't love tool payments for eternity? And this is everything that it comes with. It comes with essentially anything for any car. You pretty much have all of your accessories and adapters. In this instance, I do believe that we're going to use this one right here, which is an M14 by probably one and a half, but it doesn't say that. So in order to use this, you have to locate where your spark plugs are. It just so happens on this car being a four cylinder, they're directly on top of the engine. So for ease of video, we've already took the spark plug and coil pack off of the vehicle. So you're just going to take the hose with the threaded end, stick it down where the spark plug was. Might have to wiggle it around a little bit, figure out where it needs to go to get home. And then just screw it in. I thought there might have been a spark plug in this hole. Spark plug in it? Does that mean you put a boot on with no spark plug somewhere? Yeah, it's right there. That's funny. I would be like, what the fuck? This thing's missing out way worse than it did. This thing's missing out, period. <laughs> Please tell me you got that. Yeah, oh yeah. That's classy. <laughs> Alright, so, now that we found the right hole, we're gonna screw this bad boy in here. And it's got an O-ring on it, so you just snug it up by hand. You're good to go. Now in this one, you have quick connects kind of like your airline in your shop or house, whatever. You just pop that on there, just like that. And then you're gonna crank the engine over. You're gonna wanna figure out where you can shut your fuel off. On this car, it happens to be a fuse. You just take the fuse out and that disables all the fuel because the last thing you want is fuel to get inside of your compression tester. And you also want to find out what compression your vehicle should be running at. And this is a little relief valve, so once it's compressed, we'll, sh we'll show you. All right, Kyle, go ahead and crank her over. All right. And then, you have this button right here on the side. Depress that, and it takes all your pressure away. And then you'll repeat that on all your cylinders. The goal is to have each cylinder within 10% of the others. So if you have, let's say, this one here is at 200, this one here is at 200, this one's at 100, and that one's at 200, your problem lies in this cylinder right here, which in this motor's case happens to be cylinder number two. So that's pretty much the gist of using a compression tester. What you'll use this for mainly is to diagnose internal engine problems, like if you have a hole in the piston from using too much nitrous, yeah. um, bad rings, valves. They also have a leak down tester, but that's, that's for another video. So that's pretty much the gist of using your compression tester. If you guys have any questions about this product in particular, or doing a compression test on your vehicle, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. We'll do our damnedest to answer you. 
If you found this video helpful, please do hit that like button down there, that big thumbs up. Like those. <laughs> and, you know, if you're new to the channel, do consider subscribing. We're going to have plenty of content that will show you how to use tools, how to do some maintenance, how to do some bigger jobs. Um, what else do we do on this channel? We race. Oh, God, we race. Kyle oh, races. Yeah, I race. Sorry. What else do we do? That's pretty much it, huh? Yeah, for now. Yeah. We'll get somewhere someday. We'll be cool kids one of these days. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just like that, this video is over.